The first thing to do is protect the floor and other openings. Here you can see Corex being laid to protect the patio. In this instance, the EWI is being applied to Pebble Dash. You can see Matthew here testing the strength of this. If it's weak, then it needs to be removed first, but in this case it's fine. Next, we apply a primer to the wall. This stabilizes the existing substrate and helps aid adhesion. With this finished, we can start the install process. We first attach the starter trap to the wall just above the damp proof course. Next, we mix up the adhesive used to stick the insulation to the wall. We apply this to the perimeter of each insulation board and three dabs along the middle. We then stick the boards to the wall in a brick pattern, butting the boards up to one another. A spirit level is used to check the boards are level. Once the boards are in place and the adhesive is dry, it's time to mechanically fix the insulation boards to the wall. We're using metal fixings here, so you can see we're drilling holes to countersink the fixings. We then put the fixing into these pre-drilled holes and hammer these in place. Since we're using metal fixings to minimise cold bridging, we use thermodal caps. The whole surface is then rasped to get it nice and flat, ready for us to apply the base coat and beading. Before applying the base coat, we reinforce all the areas that are more likely to take impacts, for example around windows and doors, and also external corners. Here you can see a corner bead being applied to the outside of a window frame. Here you can see a reveal bead being applied. This helps to create a clean edge from the window frame running back along the reveal. At the corners of all windows and doors, we add reinforcement mesh to help prevent hairline cracking and strengthen the system. In this case, we're also applying an undersill bead. This helps tie the window sill into the rest of the EWI system. You can see here we're also adding the second part of the base track to the system. This ties the starter track into the base coat and ensures that the bottom of the insulation is strong enough to withstand the everyday weathering. Once we've reinforced all the different elements of the system, it's time to base coat. Here you can see the base coat adhesive being applied to the whole of the external surface of the insulation boards. We make sure this is an even coverage and then we embed a fiberglass mesh within this adhesive. This gives the system both strength and flexibility. When applying the fiberglass mesh, it's really important that each layer overlaps the previous layer. This helps prevent cracking at this point. Once the mesh has been embedded, we use a float, so in this case we're using a speed skim, to ensure that the base coat surface is completely flat. And then we're ready for rendering. Once the base coat is set, the silicon render is then applied in any colour the customer chooses. The render is designed to seal the insulation system against the weather. It's very strong and flexible, therefore providing a long-lasting decorative finish.